All right, this is part two of my uh, Death Star review of uh, 10188. And yeah, we left off at the trash compactor, so let's head over here. Over here, we've got the tractor beam with OB-1. This is a hooded OB-1. It's got its beard, Jedi robes. All right, now this thing for me doesn't work very well, but it's supposed to be, you see that blue beam? If you pull this out, oh, it works. Hey, look at that. Thank you, God, that worked on video. Well, now I can't get it back in, but that's fine. I'm just happy it worked. And then over here, that area leads to here where we have the uh, scene where Luke and Leia swing across. You got a little beam here. You got the rope. You can have stormtroopers shoot from up here. And like that. Okay. And then going above that, we have the Emperor's throne room. Oh, I didn't even take a look at the figure. Sorry. So, oops. I'll have to fix that later. So, right here, we have uh, Luke Skywalker farm boy pretty plain All right and then we have princess leia one moment we have princess leia here this is my first princess leia actual figure i made them before but just haven't had one so there it is. All right. And then up here we have uh, Luke dueling Vader. I can take these guys out. Here's uh, Luke as a Jedi Knight. Sorry, his lightsaber. There it is. Then you got him just plain. He's got the black glove, nice attention detail, robes. Over here is Darth Vader. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, nice detailing. I don't know if he has printing on the back. Let me check. Nope. But he does have a removable helmet. Okay. And then you got the two royal guards. I'll just take one out because I might set these back up later. They look pretty cool. Got the robes. Yep. Then over here we got Emperor Palpatine himself. Um, he does come with lightning. I do have the extra pieces in a bag. It's pretty good attention detail there, not that bad of a figure. All right, now, here we go. We got some green crates here. This catwalk can fall down. So you can like have Luke and Vader duel and it falls down. And then you got some holes here that lead down. This is supposed to be where Ember Palpatine gets thrown down into the reactor shaft, so here we go. Can throw him there. And he actually has, he comes out down here. Which makes sense, because this kind of looks like a reactor place. And it's open. The elevator comes right there. Some crates. Here's like the, um, Emperor's throne. And spin, turn around. You got his link. I don't know what these are, but they're just around. You got the stairs. Yeah, it's a pretty cool room. And then up here are the turbo laser cannons, which can be controlled by this little mechanism down here. So you can move them in unison, and you can direct their their direction 
<laughs> directed like that. And then over here is the droid room, like the droid repair room. So you got some tools, magnifying glass for the chair. These are the stormtrooper helmets for Luke and Han. Sorry. Then over here you've got the uh, there's like a droid dustbin kind of thing. Then over here there's a little hole for the mouse droid to go through, which I'll show you later. And then you got this black protocol droid. He's an Imperial. I like having a uh, Lego protocol droid, so this is pretty cool. Sorry if it's too bright. Sun's out. Um, then over here is the uh, Death Star laser control room. Man, that is really bright. I'm sorry. Well, I guess it improves it, but... So here's like a, uh, a little turret thing you can spin around. And over here, you can actually control the movement of the laser. This, so it can go up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it can't go up more than that. And it can go down. And turn it around. It's a pretty cool feature. Although I don't think, I think the Death Star panel was in place though it couldn't move around but still pretty cool over here you got a mouse droid i'll show you how it goes through the hole oh here let me show you the figure that's a mouse droid pretty simple build but I like it all right so you can put it through this hole i don't know why of all places it would come out here, like this is supposed to be the outside of the Death Star. And then you've got this viewport where you can see Alderaan about to be destroyed. You can flip it over, this folds down for easier access. And put in this. Oops. I don't know what's happening. Stickers messed up. Uh. All right, there we go. So that is the countdown until Yavin 4, until they were going to destroy Yavin 4. And then over here, you've got the Imperial Conference Room, all the chairs. And you have a Stormtrooper, just like the one before it. And Grand Moff Tarkin. He's got the code there, the code cylinders. And he's got the. Ah, never mind, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> um, so, pretty good likeness, I guess, for the time. And then you got this table that opened can store things in, like accessories, weapons, that kind of stuff. Then, now it's time to go to the last part of the showcase, the elevator, which runs throughout the whole thing. So here, with this button in the droid room, which I'm glad they put it in the droid room because it's not really a useful, well, it's not really one of the best rooms in the set, let's be honest, but, so this comes up. And it can go all the way throughout. So this elevator can can load minifigures on. And you can uh, bring them down. So there's an elevator station here. Of course, they're all around too, on e either side. And then you can go down here. They can even go down to the last story. All 
it and it can go up like the same. All right, so that's gonna be it for this review of the 10188 Death Star. This was part two. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make next. And see ya. Bye.